Oh, hoi hoi, I'm Pavo. And I'm Neil. And welcome to That's No Moon. It's a podcast. It's your weekly digest of all the Star Wars news that you need to know. We've had some big news this week. We have all wrapped up in a nice tidy little bundle. Right, the first news. We've talked a lot about the forthcoming Han Solo movie on this uh, very show. Uh, well, now it has an official name. And that name being Solo, a Star Wars story. So, Pav, quick question to you. Is this the best title you could think of? And thoughts on the title? Yes. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. Yes. No, well, it's, uh, it's clear, concise. You didn't want anything. I don't think you want anything. It might also be, it can sort of tell you what the sort of other movies are going to be. Mm. It's gonna, it could be Fett. A Star Obi. Wars to uh, Kenobi, it'll be, wouldn't it? I think they should have Obi. No, I don't think. I think that's ridiculous. One. <laughs> you are a one. And then the second one could be called two. <laughs> <laughs> you dick. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I think it's um, it's it's. I, I don't know what you, else it could have been, apart from maybe Han Solo or like, a Smuggler's Story or whatever. But it's clear, it's concise. Mm. It's telling you just it's. Simple. It didn't need to be anything more than that. It's not a glamorous title. I'll give you that. It's no. not something that's. Um, but even what if you're mysterious. a huge fan of like Man from Uncle? You might think it's a spin off of that. Would you? No, I'm just. Saying. Would you seriously think that? I'm not a huge fan of the Man from Uncle. Well, there you go then. Just saying, somebody who is like what, massive... and doesn't know Star Wars, yeah, even my... though it says a Star Wars story. <laughs> they just see Solo. Yeah. And they might think, oh, yeah, or maybe I'm they just think, being antagonistic. Maybe they think it's the movie version of the Felicity Kendall seventies, eighties <sighs> comedy show. Oh, as long as we see a bottom again. Well, I love that. there you go. Maybe it's that. Do you think so? I'd forgotten all about that. You, you you've really given me a blast in the past. There yeah. you go. See, so, uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's. Um, I did like the way that they. They announced it. The they video. announced it. Yeah, which I thought was very good. Um, which the, you'll see right here. Hi. Well, as we wrap up production, I just want to take this moment to, to thank an incredibly talented cast and crew for all their hard work. And to the fans out there, I hope you've enjoyed the pictures uh, that I've been sharing, pictures that I've taken from the set of... Can, can we even say the name of the movie? I'll see you next year. Yeah, so we had the um, that was a lovely bit with um, uh, Ron Howard coming out like that. So, and the Wookiee in the distance, Chewy, like in the well, yeah, no, in well the he distance, was hand, handing the card in to the him. side. Sorry, I, should I do say. think. I mean, I think he's played it very well since he's come on board. Well, he's he's created, you know, with his Instagram or Twitter or whatever he's using. He's creating his own little buzz towards it. You know, yeah. these pictures we we've analysed them on this very show. You get a picture here, a picture there, and it's all teasing and all for a very I'm good not, reason. I, cause the thing is, I'm not, I'm not saying that Lord and Miller wouldn't have done the same kind of thing. But they hadn't started to really. Well, they hadn't, but then no. they hadn't finished filming, or they hadn't. I think, it, I, I think that they, there would have been little bits and pieces like that. But as soon as Ron Howard started, he was there with like stuff on mm. Instagram and Twitter, and 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 giving. Not necessarily, it wasn't. He wasn't giving anything away, but making it look like he was going to give things away. You know, so I think he's he's played it very well. I think he's um, it look it looks like he's having loads of fun. That's the main thing. So yeah. as long as he's having fun, then everybody else hopefully will be having fun as well. I think well, no doubt. I think the film will. No have, doubt, are they in it as well? Yeah, the the film will have a, a a strong sensibility of fun, won't it? It will be fun. I think it's going to be a romp. This yeah, sort of film. I think because like people are saying, they don't want it to be an out and out comedy, which I don't think it's going to be an out and out comedy. Every Star Wars movie has got light hearted, yeah, moments comedic in moments it. Yeah. in. Yeah, but they've also, I mean, if you look on our one of our previous videos on our YouTube channel where we've got the top ten Star Wars moments, I think three of them are from the Force Awakens, right? Yeah. Which have got three of some of the, I've got some of the funniest moments that you'll find in a mm. Star Wars movie. Well, I mean, just seeing it, however, well, you probably noticed it more than me. Going your ten times, whatever you went to see, to see it, but every time, eh? wait, wait, twelve, I think it was. I dare you ten. I very dare you ten times. <laughs> ten times plus. Ten times plus. Yeah, go okay, on, put yeah. it that way. But even when we went to watch it on the outdoor screen, that moment when BB-8 flicks the bird, yeah, 
that got a laugh, and it still gets a laugh now. It makes me chuckle still now. When BB-8 flicks the bird? With um, his little, whatever it is, the flame fingers. Yes, he's not flicking the bird. <laughs> What's he's he... doing a thumbs up. <laughs> is it? Yeah, because Finn says to him, you know, please tell me where the where the base is. And I'll, you know, I'll, you know, go, please, please. So he tells him where the, tells Ray where the base is, and he goes to BB 8 like that, and BB 8 oh, picks it up and goes, ting, and does, and does uh, it back. Right. <laughs> so, so Finn is going, cheers, mate. And BB 8 is going, fuck you. I thought he was flicking the bird in one no. bit. All right. Oh, my God. How many times have you seen I'll tell you, I'm seriously thinking you're not a Star Wars fan because you're not watching these films. I, I don't watch them as regularly so that, as you. 2000, so that's like two years ago, and since two, those two years, you it. think that BB-8 has been flicking the bird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Finn. Yeah. Poor old Finn. Well, you've got to have it, haven't you? Oh, you're something else. Yeah. Uh, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Right, so, well, talking of the Solo movie, um, the reports and rumours of a rap party have been mentioned on the Solo movie now, and the, the first teaser trailer has been produced. Yeah. Uh, so with the release date not far away of um, Last Jedi, I'm sure this trailer will drop soon, especially now the title's come out, the teaser trailer. Thoughts on that? Mm. <laughs> Well, I mean, did you have a thought? How quickly... I mean, do you... I mean, they're locked in, what is it, May the... Is it 8th? End of May, I think. Is it the end of May? Yeah. Do you still think they'll stick to that? Yeah, of course they they will now. I mean, they wouldn't... It'd be silly for them to change it now, I think. And especially, well, he's... I think it was officially announced today that they finished filming. Yeah, I think it was today that they officially announced it. So they've they have wrapped production. So that gives them six months. Six months to to do the, which you can imagine considering. Well, they probably when Lord and Miller were doing it, yeah. they're not going to lose all those effect shots. That well, they, they were, were already. Up. I think they said that they were like seven. You know, was it seven, six or seven weeks away from the end of filming mm. at that point? So they would have started on the post production. Um, Effects. effects. Mm. And if the rumours are to be believed that they are still sticking to a lot of the story, a lot of the stuff hasn't changed. Do you have... I mean, you read more of the rumour mills and everything um, than I do. Do you have an indication what the story is going to be? Of um, what you've read? Not really. Not no. really. I think it's just go- going by the things that Ron Howard has sort of slipped out. Well, not slipped, but... The pictures that you sent out, the spice mines of Kessel, which that you imagine mm. that you are under the assumption that it's a spice mines of Kessel. So for that, you think you're going to see the Kessel, Kessel Road. Run, yeah. um, I think one of the legends or one of the rumors is that Chewie is a slave in the spice mines, right. and Han saves him. So then he has the life debt with with Han. Makes That's, perfect sense. I mean, whether they go that route or not is another thing. Um, because obviously some of the stories we've done previously and we've talked about, is it Tatooine we've seen being filmed and things like that? Yeah. I would assume he would appear down there somewhere because of the huts, maybe. Maybe. Or whether they, if this film is going to be a... Could it? Could this film be part of a, a, a franchise of its own? It's not going to be a one-off story? Could they have maybe Solo 2 or... You know, I, I don't know. Solo Returns. I mean, you think you're going to see Vader... Uh, I hope you don't see Vader and... I mean, Vader's... The thing is, the Empire are around, so... You could have, like, a recruitment video with Vader. <laughs> we want you. Yeah, I mean, you could do that. I mean, he, 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 he could would, be but... in a scene where he's with some stormtroopers and they are clearing out some place and, and Han is leaving or, you know, whatever. They don't just, I don't, just don't want them to be in the same shot together. No. Um, well, it can't, can it? Because it would ruin Empire, though. Exactly, exactly. But there are—I mean, I don't know. It, it depends on how f- young they're going mm. and to what point they're going to be stopping. Because it would be interesting to see whether or not the—I in- oh, think you've said this before—where the incident that puts a bounty on Han's head from Jabba mm. is in this movie. The fact that he drops a load of. Cargo at the the first sight of a you know an imperial or, garrison yeah. or whatever. That's the reason that uh, Jabba the Hutt puts a price on Han Solo's head. Is that what we're going to see? Is that how far up to the original trilogy we're going to go? 
Mm. I don't know. It's, that's going to be the interesting thing in just how it's set. I mean, now they're saying that he's apparently some kind of almost like a, a, a car racer. He's like a, a, right. a, a ship racer or something at the start. That's what he does. Um, I don't know. Until you, so you start seeing a trailer where you can see yeah, the context well, Again, of it we've all. been stoned by the trailer. You, you think you're seeing something and you're seeing something completely different. That's been a, a big sting for us, but... I think it's quite exciting, this solo movie. Well, it is, but uh, you can't say anything. It's the same as when we had Rogue One. We were hearing all of these different things, and you thought, well, what is it going to look like? Because in in context, and we've said from the very, very start, I think unless when you that very first moment you see old and Aaron Reich as Han Solo, if you don't buy him as Han Solo, none of it's going to work. You can Mm. have the best film ever, but if you don't, it's the same as whoever takes over as Indiana Jones if they ever reboot Indiana Jones. Whoever they get, if he doesn't work, it's, got, it's, it's it's 50% of the battle, isn't well, it? You've got well, a, you've, got a lo- you've got a lot of work to then get the audience on your side. That's what I think. and uh, I think it's completely different to, say, bringing back an old Han Solo or bringing back an old Indiana Jones because everybody that loves those movies loves Harrison Ford. And even if he's old and like seventy five and can't run properly, it doesn't matter because it's Harrison Ford. Yeah. But that's why I think this this kid is almost on a hiding to nothing. What old Nero, right? I think so. Yeah. And I, I hope mean, I, I th- hope it works. He looks the part, doesn't he? Well, he, he? does. And uh, at the yeah, moment, yeah, from yeah. what we've seen, all we can do is wait and see. Wait and see. So <clears throat> this will remind us of when we were at the Star Wars celebrations. A new Star Wars vi- virtual reality experience will be available at Disney Springs Orlando starting on December the 16th at Downtown Disney uh, in Anaheim, California as well, starting on January the 5th next year. Now, the experience will take you on a mission to Mustafar and in the role of an undercover stormtrooper. Now, I bring this up because this is the one that they've spent more money on doing the virtual reality. Now, there was that virtual reality we saw at the Star Wars celebrations that I said at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, which was, um, I think it was a Rogue One related one. No, was that it? was on no. Tatooine. It Tatooine, was like, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Well, this one is a full, I don't know how long it'll be, but the the, the millions that they spent on it is a full immersive experience. Have you seen the trailer for it? I haven't. Uh, but that's got K2SO in it. Right. It's, it looks amazing. It really does look amazing. I mean, what it, what it whether you have a gun and you're shooting people on that, I don't know. Whether you're just looking around and things are going on Well, it says, I mean, because on the, on the report from the read of it, I've looked at pictures and it looked very, very good, all on this same report. So it says you are playing the role of an undercover stormtrooper. So, yeah, hopefully it's more interactive than just looking around. Because mm, I've seen some of this, the, the lightsaber ones, um, the guys on... Uh, Collider were testing it out. Oh, no, actually, I've seen one of those. They did one at the... Well, there's one at Swindon Comic Con. There was. Well, we but should have had a go on. But we, we should have, chance, yeah. Didn't. But no, uh, there was uh, one... It was at the MCM, probably London thing, there was one. And I was watching people do the lightsabers on that, and it was... It just looks so much fun, doesn't it, that way? Mm. It's the next step of gaming, anyway, isn't it? The virtual reality. Yeah, as long as they bring the prices down, because the prices are just way too expensive. <laughs> you heard him. <laughs> well, it is. It's just it way is. too expensive. You got to get a whole. You know, it's. I mean, it's not quite there yet to be. It'll all come down. We all said that about consoles, but that's the, that's a, that's one of the immersive experiences I would really enjoy. And how obviously we've got Star Wars Land or whatever you want to call it opening. Excuse me. Uh, um... At Disneyland, mm-hmm. are you are you any closer to booking it? Well, we book. Well, we we're saving up now, so we'll yeah. be booking it uh, sometime. Well, probably this time next year, we'll be booking it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's just something that I'm not really sort of wanting to think about until it gets a bit closer, yeah. <laughs> because it's going to be too exciting. Well, it's just going to be so busy. That's going to be the thing, isn't it? You're going to have to be prepared for the queues, aren't you? Yes. Well. <laughs> what are you frowning at me nothing, for? Nothing. Well, that's it. That's my stories, sir. Is it? Yeah, that's the three biggies. I actually thought we'd talk about um, some more, a bit more, but there we are. We're there. Have you got any questions? That's it, is it? Yeah. What are we at? <laughs> okay. Well, it's because last week, obviously, the trailer dropped for um, The Last Jedi, 
a lot of this week has been quiet until up to yesterday when they've released the solo title. There hasn't been much more today that's dropped, but that was the three main stories that I wanted to talk about. Okay. Got anything else to bring to the table? No. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I will, and I will talk about this, actually, but I need more prepare, preparation. One of the episodes I want to talk to Pav, as, a Pav, as everybody who knows and listens to this knows that Pav is probably the geeky Star Wars fan I know. I know there's people out there a lot more... Um, you know go even further into it but with the films you're you're a lot more into it than i am i love it so i'm going to want to know your best moment from the trilogies and now i know it's going to be very hard and very hard to narrow down what but i want you to pick out a moment from each of the tri- uh, from each of the movies from the trilogies so we'll start with the original trilogy and we'll start with a new hope and then obviously work our way forward but I want you to pick your favourite and best moments from that. So, ideally one or two, not, okay. not the whole film. <laughs> My best moments, is it all? And these are the ones I'm going to bring to you. So, I'm not going to spring it on you now, but we'll do one later on for like, we'll do it for The Force Awakens separately. Okay? okay. Are you prepared for that? Yeah. You don't sound sure? Yeah, no, I, nah. yeah I'm prepared, yeah. Good. Absolutely. Because I think it'll be very fascinating to, especially to know what the, those uh, moments are, but also to know the reasoning why you think they're the best moments and what they mean to you. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm intri- interested for. Okie dokie. So, what about yourselves? What are your favourite moments? What are you looking forward to in the solo movie? Do you like the solo movie title? Do you think it should have been called something else? Or. Do you want to see any other standalone movies? Do please comment in the uh, messages below. And when you do leave a comment, remember to press the like button. That's it. And also, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and also come and subscribe to the iTunes, uh, sorry, Apple Podcasts. Uh, leave us a rating and a review. And also come and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also hit the notification button, which means you'll be notified every time we release a new video. Uh, come to our website, which is pancast.co.uk. We're also on Twitter and Facebook and all that gubbins. Gubbins. So there you go. That's it for episode 51. 51. 51. So thank you very much, Neil. Thank you very much, Pav. And uh, may the force be with you. Oh. Oh. <laughs>